Hi, welcome back to Mediatrick.net in another tutorial. Um, I just wanted to cover um, Dreamweaver CS5, actually setting this thing up on the um, in Dreamweaver. I'm not going to go over how to install MAMP on this. I've got other tutorials on my blog for that or how to download WordPress and get it up. So let's jump in. Um, just look through Mediatrick.net. Um, in my blog and you'll find a ton of information uh, for templates, how to install local servers on Windows, on Mac, uh, where to get the software that you need to edit all this stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. You want to click your Dreamweaver CS5 and then we're going to, this is the site back here, my new site. We're going to define that in Dreamweaver so we can work on it. So let's click on new site and we're going to call it my new uh, site and then you need to navigate to your htdocs folder i've got mine over here in the taskbar and then just click on the my new site which is inside your htdocs folder on your map server choose okay and then let's go ahead and configure the server it's real simple click the add button and then um, we're going to select local network Let's call this um, testing server, or you can put the name of your site in there or whatever you want. Now you need to uh, tell the server, tell it where the server folder is, which is back in htdocs inside um, of my new site. So let's go there and click choose, and then the URL is going to be localhost forward slash my new site because um, and I'll explain more about MAMP uh, in a later video but whatever your site's name is like if, if you're working on your site off your local host which is your Apache server on your machine uh, when I work on MediaTrick I'll put local host forward slash MediaTrick because that's the folder that that it is in on my local host that's where it's pointing to so let's go ahead and click advance and we want to make sure the server model select is PHP MySQL and then click save alright so we've got the site set up and the server set up and we one other thing you want to deselect remote and select testing so click save that's very important on the um, that you don't want to have server selected if you want to do this on your local machine you want to have testing um, or test selected okay so it's imported the site and here we've got everything running here so let's just go ahead and open the index.php page and most of your work is going to be done inside this wordpress content that's where your themes are stored your plugins um, all that good stuff your image image files so let's go ahead and uh, click index.php and to get this thing to work dynamically we have to they have to discover these files by the server so as you can see here this looks nothing like um, this my new site so let's go ahead and open that back up and we're going to discover what's on the server so click discover okay and you can see that hey it's still not showing up even when I click uh, live view and that's because that Dreamweaver is since you open this index.php file it's looking for that index.php file instead of dynamically looking at the server but that's pretty easy to, and simple to, to fix let's just erase this part just go ahead and delete WP content themes index.php and then click enter okay so there it is the second part of this video tutorial on integrating Adobe Dreamweaver CS5 with WordPress is located on my blog at mediatrick.net forward slash blog we encourage you to come over and take a look at the, all the free tutorials on the blog this one will be posted on there as well and we cover in depth uh, the rest of the video on how to integrate Dreamweaver uh, CS5 with 
WordPress. So come on over to mediatrick.net forward slash blog. We are spam, spyware, malware, botware free. Thank you.